Well, the push to reopen the Jefferson County Youth Detention Center in downtown Louisville moved a step further in Frankfurt today. House Bill 3, which looks to set aside nearly $9 million to renovate the facility, passed in committee. WHAS 11's Isaiah Kim Martinez breaks down the next steps and where the biggest opposition is coming from. Isaiah. Well, Shay Doug, ultimately both sides admit this legislation is far from perfect. Not even the end-all, be-all solution here, but proponents of the bill say juvenile crime is too high right now to ignore. Opponents believe opening up detaining more kids or opening up more detention centers will do more harm than good. House Bill 3 sponsor Representative Kevin Bratcher and other lawmakers from Louisville say teenagers charged with the most violent crimes need a place to go closer to home. We need them with us where their families can see them where we can have more services. And with the city's murders increasingly driven by juveniles, they believe the facility downtown that was once the city's youth detention center is their best bet to curb the dangerous trend. It's very important for our most troubled children to try to get their lives turned around. In the House Judiciary Committee Wednesday, Bratcher was joined at the mic by Louisville Deputy Mayor David James and Josh Crawford, who specializes in criminal justice policy. Crawford noted 11% of those arrested in Louisville for homicides last year are juveniles. James said 30% of homicides in Jefferson County are related to gang activity and believes this facility would help intervene in kids' lives. But folks like Brittany Harris, who was formerly in the juvenile justice system, are apprehensive. As Kentuckians are working creating change must be preventative rather than reactive. Detention is not the cure, and I hope that you see the strength of therapy and treatment and know that is the solution. James is promising Louisville Metro government would assist in making sure teenagers aren't abandoned. So while they're being detained, we can provide, as the city of Louisville, wraparound services for those children, mental health services, uh, substance abuse services, all those things that we think they need, where we can protect the children and we can also protect the community. Other language of HB3 caused some concern, including a provision that would require a maximum 48-hour hold until detained juveniles can stand before a judge for a hearing. This paints a picture into possible hurdles this legislation could face in the days to come. And another provision would allow convicted kids to have their records and some personal information become public at least for a few years. Representative Bratcher said today that language is something he'd be willing to be flexible on going forward. Guys. Isaiah, thank you very much. Well, House Bill number three will now be heading to the full house for discussion and possible amendments. We're told it could be heard before the end of this week.